Hello. This is the 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan. Volkswagen puts a lot of a lot of effort into making their vehicles high quality. They say that you can sit on the door and you can still close it. Right here, this is laser welded, it is not spot welded. Usually with a vehicle you'll see the black strip right along the top because it's welded only in certain spots. Here it's welded the entire length. Also, this vehicle has a 12 year unlimited kilometer rust warranty. So if your vehicle starts to rust, then they will fix it for free for 12 years. If I had a son today and I bought a Tiguan and it started to rust when he was in grade six and he was being a really big jerk, then I would still be able to get my rust fixed for free. You can't fix a kid for free. Also, because this is the R line, this has a body package. You have this stuff right here. Don't know what this bottom part is called, but Normally that's not available, and also you have the black fender flares. These are the Savannah wheels. They are 19 inch wheels that are only available on the R line. Then you can also get the New York wheels and the Portland wheels, and there's like another one. It has push button start, yet you still have a switchblade key. So there's no keyhole, but if your battery is dead, you just stick this under here and you smash the window. There's a hole under here and you stick this. Where is it? Here it is. Aha, this thing comes off and now there's a keyhole. Also, when you get the R line, you get these nice roof rails. All right, so this is the front of the vehicle. There is a chrome grill, as you can see. And we have Bi Xenon HID lights and these are adjustable, so they will move 13 degrees either way when you're turning. That way you don't hit like a bear or something. And because this is the R-Line, you have these fancy LEDs that you don't normally get, and they're really nice. Yes, well, very basic front. Um, like I said, there's no adaptive cruise or anything like that, so you don't have any of those sensors here. You know how the, the Golfs have the really cool backup camera that's hidden behind the Volkswagen emblem? I thought this was gonna have it, I was pushing on it, but it's down here. The R-Line bumper is shorter and it, there is black on it and it actually looks really cool. Very simple. Did you know that Germans like simple designs? Speaking of Germans, did you know this vehicle is made in Germany? Next year it will not be made in Germany. It's going to Mexico next year. Let's open this thing up. That's weird. That's really high. I thought it was going to, I thought the, the, the door was going to open up here. Let's see if we fit. Brandon, close me up. Oh no. Usually with vehicles, there's like a release in the trunk. <gasps> Ooh, there is a button. It's not working. I want to get out now. <clears throat> uh, there is a jack right here. Mm -hmm. There are some anchors right here and here. There, there's four anchors in total, that's really cool. And it has 60-40 folding seats with a pass-through right here. See, that's cool. So, the test is always how easily can the seats be folded down. Is there a lever here? No, what the hell? Oh, I found it. There we go. That's inconvenient, but I guess it'll have to do I could almost go camping. I would say that is a decent amount of room for a vehicle this size. Like I said, it's a very basic vehicle, but remember you pay for the quality. Listen to this. Hink. Now here's something that is really, really cool. Those Germans always coming up with these fancy new ways of doing stuff. The car is turned off, but I want to unroll all the windows. Watch this. Hmm. It says if you want to roll the, the windows up or down after the car's off, you have to hold the button oh, yeah, down. You just, yeah, you just hold, literally just. Just for an extended period of time. Yeah. That's good to know. 
So, like I said, these are 19 inch Savannah wheels. They come with the Golf R line only. If you get the, if you get the High line, it's only 18s and then 17s and then 16s for the Trend line. Also, when you get the R line, which this is, you also have a spoiler, which is cool. When you open the door, you also notice that there are some silver door sills that say R line. Everyone's gonna know that you have an R line because it's on like 10 different spots on the exterior of the vehicle. That's easy. And it has storage right here. Let's open up this one. So easy. Actually, it's extremely easy to get into. I know what you're thinking. That's a really stupid test because, of course, it's easy to get into. It's a vehicle. I mean, some vehicles, they're way higher or way too low or something, but this is the perfect height. I like it. Maybe we should look at the engine. It doesn't have the hydraulic assist, but it does have a very, very nice prop rod. It is a two liter turbocharged engine with 200 horsepower and 207 foot pounds of torque. We are inside the 2017 Tiguan. And you know what? Very soft. How many vehicles do you know you can just like peel up this thing, look how, look how soft that is. And this thing, it's like foam. Everything's made out of like a really soft foam. It is probably the softest touch, soft touch that you will ever see in a vehicle. And because this is the high line or the R line, you have a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's just like the steering wheel out of the GTI. Very, very sporty. And the R line comes with these paddle shifters. For some reason, the window buttons are really, really high up. They're like, they're all the way up here. They're so close to the steering wheel that I can actually hit them while my hand is still on the steering wheel. And there's a ton of headroom, like there's crazy, that much headroom. You also have memory seating right down here. Every vehicle that has a powered memory mirror, they always look the exact same. They're always these really big bulky round mirrors with these buttons here, but it's a nice, a very nice mirror. Ooh, there's an off and on button. That's really easy to use. There's a sunglass holder and not enough vehicles have sunglass holders. It's actually, one thing that's actually kind of disappointing is that uh, there's a screen right in the middle between the two gauges. It's just like, it's just a, a really low res black screen. And also the speedometer and the tachometer are the exact same size, which is really cool. So there is a 6.3 inch touch screen. It's very, very basic, very simplistic. But I guess that's what Germany is about. Oh, so it has heated seats. There's no option for a heated steering wheel or cooled seats though and then it's dual zone climate control. But if you get the trend line, which is the base model, then you just have the manual one zone climate control. And there's these weird slots. I don't know what they are or what they do. I wonder if I can poke something inside of them. Here's a card. What do these do? Are they, they hold? Huh? Hey Brandon, come here, watch this. That's amazing. Never in my life have I seen something so amazing. Anyways, the screen is very basic. Who cares about that? You have card holders. You also have a really nice leather cover on the shifter and you can put it into sport mode. There's an electronic park brake and there's card holders. Also, there's a cooled glove box. There's actually a dial inside the glove box. So if you want to adjust how cold your, your papers get, it has an adjustable armrest so you can put it up really high. So, did you know that if you get the lower trims, then this doesn't come with leather, it comes with leatherette, like a sort of vinyl. So you can feel like you're really fancy without actually committing and buying the leather. There is a really interesting backup camera right here. You have this really cool traje trajectory. And when we were backing it up earlier, there were boxes that were appearing, maybe on moving objects, I don't know. You can actually turn the camera on while you're driving forward as well at low speeds. And the backup camera comes standard in all trims. And the trims start at 25 and it tops up around 40. And 40 isn't that bad. It has Android Auto, so you can use App Connect. So you connect your phone via USB. My Volkswagen has turned into an Android phone. Cool, there's Google Maps and you can call things. Oh, there's Brandon right there. You have reached mailbox number 780. We don't want your phone number on video, do we? And that's really cool. There's weather. It's minus 18 degrees Celsius right now. I 
Oh, that was so loud. That's a good system. It's a really good sound system. It has an eight speaker, um, 400 watt Fender sound system with one subwoofer as well. So a nine speaker sound system. It's apparently really loud. All right, so we're in the back of the Tiguan. There's a ton of space. Look at this, I can stretch my legs all the way. For some reason they're opening the door. There's matte pockets and there's no plastic kick plates. So there's vinyl on the back. And there's hooks, but they're like tiny baby hooks for some reason. Tiny, tiny, tiny hooks. And then there's also a pass-through right here that has plastic. And they're really tiny cup holders. They're so, they're baby cup holders. It probably wouldn't spill because it's so, it's so tight. Cool. I mean, it, it's really, really solidly built. So you're obviously paying for the quality, not necessarily all of the fancy features, but I guess it would be nice if it had more features. Heated rear seats or something like that. All right, I guess we should drive it. It has power folding mirrors. I didn't know that. Power folding mirrors are my favorite feature on any vehicle. The thing with power folding mirrors is that it's something that you could very easily do yourself, but you don't want to. I was thinking about it, and I think I was kind of hard on this vehicle um, because I kept saying how you know it's it's pretty expensive and it doesn't really have that many features. I think that it's it's a good enough vehicle that it doesn't need all the flash that you know the, the less expensive vehicles have, like the the Kias and the Hyundai's. You know, it doesn't have cooled seats and it doesn't have uh, you know like blind spot monitoring and all that stuff. But really, that stuff isn't that isn't very necessary. And this is a good enough vehicle that it can that they can charge forty thousand dollars for the top of the line model and just have a well-built vehicle instead of something with all this somewhat useless tech. It looks like an expensive vehicle. And when you use the paddle shifters, it actually moves pretty good. Look at that. It tells me like the next 20 songs in the queue. Here we go. That's really, really good. That is the best sound system ever. That's so clear. And it's not, and sometimes when you get a sound system and you turn it up all the way, there's distortion when, um, like when, when like a, the bass hits or something, and so then everything kind of fades out for a second, or there's a lot of vibrating. It's not. It's so loud and it's so clear and there's no vibration. It's a very, very well-built vehicle and it drives really, really nicely. And you don't see that many Tiguan's on the road, so you have like a, uh, an exclusivity. And it has a multi-angle backup camera too, which is neat. I've decided, I actually like this quite a bit. Oh, hey, here's another thing that is very high quality. The cup holders on the side of the door, they're padded. They have like a, like a, like a carpet almost in it. See, it's those little things. It actually does have some get up. Like that's pretty quick. So I guess this is cheaper than a fully loaded like Hyundai Tucson, but the build quality is a lot better. You just don't have like these ridiculous things like, oh yeah, it has like a, a cooled, visor so you can put your drinks in your visor. Well, I guess we should say if you like what you saw in this video, you should let us know in the comments below and you should subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like us on Facebook.